show jumping you're looking for a winner and you really want to jump clean I mean they haven't been across country so uh, you, you'll find those horses will jump a lot cleaner uh, a lot sharper over the jumps when you come here you know the horses can be tired a little sore so you, you probably won't see them in, in quite the same shape as a regular show jumper and, and of course um, you know major Grand Prix will be another six inches or more higher than this anyway so there'll be much more much more to jump you always say that I think sometimes the most difficult part ends up riding easy because the riders know it's difficult and they concentrate on that and then they relax over something simple and that becomes uh, difficult but certainly the last line I think is going to be difficult triple combinations are always going to be difficult mm -hmm. so um, yeah I th you know hopefully you hope spots will be spread around but I'm never quite sure what state the horses are in after the cross country. If I'm doing a Red Bull Grand Prix, you know the horses, you know what they're capable of, so I'm a little bit in their hands to get what's going to happen from them. But I think the last line is going to be tough to make up their minds, you know, kind of say which they're going to do there. And of course, the good right, you know, the horses in the lead will have the advantage of watching the first lot go, so that will help them to see how it's riding. When I say new, I, I've never used it with, uh, in, in that format. Normally, you know, we use verticals, oxes, different uh, combinations of them. But the first time here at Rodex, I've actually used the triple bar uh, going into the combination at A. Okay. But, I mean, it's something you know that they'll they probably have seen around, and we use at regular horse shows. But it's just the first time I've used it here at Rodex.